trust me, we've got about a million emails and voice messages from every Oh, email really? Your necessary. history. This really is... I don't, I don't oh, this is... Being, I don't think you appreciate being reported right now either. Oh, well, we'd love to communicate with your communications person, yeah, but she's not communicating. Her. David Menzies for Rebel News here in downtown Toronto. Well, folks, I'm at the Steam Whistle Brewery, and just a day ago, this was the site of the Pierre Polyev rally. It was jam-packed, standing room only, thunderous applause for Mr. Polyev. But in the aftermath, there was a bitter note to the event, nothing that Mr. Polyev said or did, nor his supporters, but rather, from the people that run Steam Whistle. And what I speak of, folks, is this letter that was sent out by Steam Whistle, I'm gonna read it verbatim. Steam Whistle received a last minute booking for this event on April 13th. Steam Whistle is in no way affiliated with Pierre Polyev, does not endorse his political views, nor did the brewery sponsor the event. The candidate submitted an inquiry and went through the traditional booking process as any other paid client would for an event booking, whether it be a wedding, corporate event, or private gathering. Over our 22 year history, a number of different political candidates slash parties from all three branches of the Canadian government have rented our community event spaces. We do not choose our clients, rather they choose our venue for its amenities, size and location. We have upcoming bookings for other political events this year. Contact Sybil at steamwhistle.ca for further information. So the vibe I'm getting from this folks is that Steam Whistle is distancing itself from Pierre Polyev. But the question arises, why is that? In Sybil's letter, she says in her 22 year history, members of other political parties, I assume she means the Liberals and the NDP, have booked this venue. So the question arises again, did Sybil send out a letter distancing Steam Whistle from the Liberals and from the New Democrats? I have a hunch the answer is absolutely not. So what is the unspoken strategy here? Well, I took up Sybil's offer of reaching out for an interview. I sent her an email about eight hours ago and uh, I had basically three questions. What was the purpose of this letter? What prompted you to write this letter? And furthermore, you state in the letter that other political events have been staged at the Steam Whistle venue in the aftermath of those events. Did you send out letters similar to the one you distributed regarding the Pierre Polyev event last night? And one other note, folks. Yeah, they kind of are distancing themselves from Pierre Polyev and Pierre Polyev's politics, but his money was fine. They took his money, right? Uh, no problem there. So a bit of hypocrisy there. In any event, I'm gonna go into the Steam Whistle head office and see if we can get some answers since Sybil is ignoring my emails. Here we are at the Steam Whistle Brewery. I've asked for Sybil Taylor, the one who penned that letter. Let's see if she'll come and face the music now that we've made a house call. Are you looking for Sybil? That's right, sir, yes. I'm David Menzies, Rebel News, and it's in regards, sir, to this letter yeah, yeah. that went out yesterday, and she, it, she writes that to, for further information to contact her, I did like seven hours ago, but they're it just, seems they're to They're just be, in the middle of a board meeting right now. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It just seems to me that they're um, distancing themselves from the Pierre Polyev event. Can't that make happened. any comment right now. Oh, Sybil, you can't, Sybil will have to be part of that, yeah. Oh, okay then. To be honest, it's just not that big of a story. It's really, really not. Yeah. yeah. The only thing, I, I'm just... way out of proportion. Trust me, we've got about a million emails and voice messages from every Oh, email. really? Um, Your history, this is... I don't think you appreciate being reported right now either. Oh, okay yeah, then. I know, I can Aren't see we being recorded right now? I can see your phone's on right now. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? I mean, that, that's what we do. Journalism, right? No, so, I get it for sure. and listen, I, I'm not trying to give you a hard yeah. time. And, and, and you've, you've emailed her, and that's fine. She, I did she will like seven her. hours ago. Oh, we'd love to communicate with your communications person, yeah, but she's not communicating. Around. So there you go, folks. I think that was quite rude of them. Nobody in charge would come down and speak to me. We waited over an hour. And uh, even though Sybil Taylor herself welcomed people to send out emailed queries for further information, she is simply not communicating. And I think the moral of this story is that when you bend the knee to the cancel culture mob, it's lose-lose. And by that I mean those on the left of center who presumably complained about the Pierre Polyev event last night, well, they're pissed off at Steam Whistle, and with this ridiculous letter that Sybil sent out, now those on the right of center, those who support Pierre Polyev, they're pissed off. So everyone's pissed off. It's a zero-sum gain. Well, at least I picked up a beer while I was there. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. You know, a hint of hypocrisy, a wisp of wimpiness, a crumb of cancel culture. It's quite bitter. I think I shall drink something else. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, before you know it, summer is going to be here, so get ready to have fun in the sun by wearing some of the newest Rebel News merchandise. We've got new t-shirts, sweatshirts, caps, you name it. Wear your politics on your sleeve when it comes to supporting Rebel News and looking quite fashionably as you do so. Please go to rebelnewsstore.com, that's rebelnewsstore.com, and place your order today.